guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaizen Tsukho if you are new here and today, two years later, we are finally going to be completing the Discovery Vitality series. Okay, so context. If you're new to my channel or if you recently subscribed, I've had my channel for just over two years now and when I started out, I was like into fitness, reading, natural hair and beauty and some of those niches have stayed and some have fallen off. The one that has fallen off is fitness and I'm pretty sure that if you are new to the channel or new to the scenes, you'll be like, why is she filming a fitness related video? This is the reason why. I couldn't not do it. I get haunted and hounded by people asking me when are you going to finish the Discovery Vitality series? What happened to the two other videos, the two last videos? Well, look, I am tired of being chased by my demons. So here I am and I'm ready to film and conclude the Discovery Vitality series. So that's just a little bit of context before we get into the content and into this video with regards to why I'm filming this video, who has asked for it, a lot of people have asked for it. I thought that it would die away, but it just keeps getting more and more views and more people keep DMing me asking, hey, Tsukho, where are the other videos? I can't find them, no, 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 no. So what I've done for you guys as well is I've kind of grouped together all of the videos that exist of the Discovery Vitality series. There are three. The first one is an introduction to the, to the program. The second one talks about how you can save money on your membership fees and on everything else, just your whole fitness lifestyle. And at that point, I actually could save a thousand rand a month. And then the third one, or the last one rather that I did was, um, Oh yes, unlocking the diamond algorithm. So how to make sure that you get diamonds on your game board. If you're not familiar with what the game board is, it's basically um, an opportunity for you to score even more points at the end of the week when you meet your vitality and fitness goals. And then I had promised you two more videos. I had promised you a video on how you maintain 900 points because at some point in time, you're going to need a fitness watch in order to be meeting a 900 point goal um, target and I'll talk you through that and I'll also in the same video talk you through how you get to gold tier and if you maintain gold tier for three years in a row in the third year you become you get onto the diamond tier which is the tier that I've been maintaining for the past two years so I'll tell you guys how to get there cool comfortable happy I'm sorry it took two years but I'm here now so don't shoot me let's get into the video Okay, so please excuse my lighting. It is going to keep fluctuating as I film because I'm filming in the afternoon and the weather is very moody. So as I said to you guys, there are two videos that are outstanding. Instead of doing two separate videos, because I don't know, that might take another two years. <laughs> I'm just gonna put everything into one video and give you all of the information that I have and know to date in this one video so yeah also if you're looking to catch up on the other three videos in the vitality series i have conveniently created a playlist for you guys i will add it in the description box so make sure that you click in the description box look for the tag to the video or to the playlist and you can catch up on those three videos but for now let's get into this video Cool, so how do you maintain 900 points? The reason why I wanted to create this video was to basically make you guys understand the importance of having a fitness device. Now on the Discovery Vitality program, not every single fitness device is accepted, so make sure that before you get a fitness device, you do your research and find out which ones are accepted. I, for example, have the Apple Watch, and I find that the Apple Watch is commonly used across a lot of different fitness apps. So if you're looking to make an investment into a fitness device, I highly recommend the Apple Watch, especially if you do have an Apple phone and you are in the Apple ecosystem, it just makes it so seamless to plug and play and to interact with all of your devices. So I would personally recommend that. That is my personal preference. But I do believe that um, the program accepts Garmin as well as the Fitbits. I'm not sure if they have expanded it since then. So the reason why you do need a fitness watch is every single week you get allocated a fitness goal. So the fitness goal, you achieve it by getting points. The easiest way to get points on the Vitality program is through walking, right? You get 50 points for walking more than 5,000 steps, or 5,000, yeah, zero to 5,000 steps, and then you get 100 points for walking more than 10,000 steps. The schlep about relying on this is you can only get so many points in a year from walking, right, or from the steps, and once that points, and once you, you've reached the quota for these points, you no longer get stepping points. So you can't rely on that. 
The next thing you can look at is, okay, and, and when I'm giving you these options, right, I'm giving you the options that are the quickest and the most effective. So there are other ways to do it. People run marathons, people do park runs. I don't even know if park runs are still a thing now that COVID has happened. But um, yeah, I'm telling you guys how I achieved it and what I did. And I find it to be very effective because obviously I've maintained my diamond status for two years now. Um, so yeah do it this way. <laughs> the second way that you can um, try and get your points is getting a gym membership. So when you get the gym membership, the one thing you must be aware of is there is an activation fee and you also do, oh yes, the activation fee is actually what you pay in order to um, add on the gym membership fee as a plugin to your vitality program, if that makes sense. So in order for you to benefit or to get the rewards of getting maximum 75% of your gym fees discounted, you need to pay an activation fee. There are some months when activation fees are not required in gyms, those months when people don't want to train or in those months when people really want to train. So November, if you want to get a gym membership, get it in November, they discount the activation fee or they completely just scrap it. Um, January and I think February and just before spring so August and September those are the months when I've noticed gyms are like no activation fee because if you can get away with not paying an activation fee that's amazing it actually it costs 750 rand which is not a lot in the bigger scheme of things but when you're starting out you have to pay for your tags pay for gym clothes pay for it's it's a lot child it's a lot so yeah just a secret from me to you if you are going to get the gym membership get it around those months okay save you guys some money okay cool so fine you've done the stepping one you've got that in the bag now with the gym pay your fees all of that stuff look cute get ready go to the gym now if you don't have a fitness watch right the way that the gym benefits work is you get 100 points every time you go to the gym which is great when you start out because your goals per week they probably start at around 200 po 200 points that you must get very easy go to the gym twice the way that the gym works is it's very addictive and once you start seeing results you want to go all the time so as you go more often to the gym vitality is like oh okay she can handle more so then they increase your points goal every single week so then you find yourself going from 200 to 250 if you really are an overachiever that that week your points can actually increase by 100 points your targets every week and very very quickly you can find yourself at a point where you're okay now 500 points okay a week okay go to the gym five times you've got it 600 go to the gym six times 700 go to the gym seven times and that's all part of the lifestyle right it depends if that is your lifestyle or it's not your lifestyle cool so you're in that position now you are going to the gym vitality is like okay give us 700 points this week and this is you going flat out every single day of that week and then the next week they're like give us 800 and then you're like what am I gonna do and I'm here to tell you what you're gonna do <laughs> so during the time when you are busy getting your fitness on getting in the moon and the groove of going to the gym you're gonna be saving up for your fitness device I highly do not recommend you going the discovery route where you get the watch for free because I don't even know if I told you guys about the situation in my other video but in order to get your Apple Watch on Vitality, you need to jump through the biggest hoops, collect the blood of Jesus and Satan's toenail in order for you to get that watch. And it's just, it's, it's just not, not worth it. Just save up and get the watch. If it's an investment, get it with a credit card, pay it off. Because honestly, it really is worth it. So I'm not going to lie. If your fitness and your health is a priority to you, this is going to be one of the greatest investments that you make for yourself. So, um, okay, and just as a side note, because people are going to be like, why, why can't I get it off Vitality? You can, there's this huge ass beetle crawling here, and I'm just like, why are you here? <sighs> Flip, okay, I don't have time for that. <laughs> um, the reason why I don't recommend you get it with the card, and if you've heard me tell you this before, just fast forward, um, it's because you need a discovery credit card and it's fine you can get the credit card but then you need to actually use the credit card for two or three months they must actually see transactions going through there and then you can get the watch and by then it's like oh, I could have saved the money up myself and just gone and bought the watch so that's why I'm like just just get the watch um, and just the admin you need to get approved you can't just go to the i store they they must communicate with the i store and say still coming to collect a watch I 
When I found all of that out, I literally cut that card up and I just went and I got the watch. The minute you sign up for Discovery Vitality, figure out which fitness device you're gonna get, start saving up for it, so that by the time you get to the 900 point mark, which as I said, if you're diligent, will take you about two and a half months, I think, two or two and a half months, then you are literally A for away, you've got your fitness device and you can start training. You absolutely need a fitness device if you are going to hack this program. They've made it in such a way where you need a fitness watch. Because as I said to you guys, you can get points with stepping, you get points going to the gym, just going to the gym, that's it. And then you, and then you get to that very dizzy point where you get the 900 points goal. And you must maintain 900 points every single week. There is no other way to, to get to that point without a fitness watch. Because you can't get double points. You can't get points for stepping and for going into the gym and for working out. You get the highest of the three, okay? And when you have the watch, you can actually even get up to 300 points in a day, which is fantastic. And the way that you get that is, on the program, there are two different workouts or exercise durations that grant you points. Either you exercise for 30 minutes or you exercise for one hour. If you're working out for 30 minutes, you need to ensure that your heart rate is at 80% of your maximum heart rate for your age group, okay? This information is on the Discovery website. I will add, look in my description box. Very, very insightful information lies in that description box. Um, I will add the link to that table and you can actually see, okay, what's my age group? What is the heart rate that I'm supposed to be maintaining? And then if you exercise for seven, for 70. If you exercise for 60 minutes, which is one hour, then your heart rate must be at 70% or more of your maximum heart rate. If your heart rate is less than that, you get, you get fewer points. Sometimes you don't even get any points if your heart rate, if you do yoga, for example. So if you do yoga, for example, which is something that I've done, you don't get points for yoga because your heart rate isn't active, it's not strained, unless I guess you do Bikram yoga or the hot yoga. Maybe that will be a bit more challenging for the body, but that's something to be very aware of is, it, you need, your heart rate needs to work in order for you to get the points. Um, if you get like 60% of the maximum heart rate for either your 30 or your one hour, then you get 100. If you get any, if your heart rate drops less than 60, I think you don't get any points, but I stand to be corrected. So that's why then you need the Apple Watch and that's how you maintain the 900 points, okay? Get it? Got it? If you have any questions you want me to clarify, let me know in the comment section down below. I really hope my lips are not crusty. I just want to get this video <laughs> over and done with. So, let's get to the second component, 50,000 points. How do you get 50,000 points, guys? It's the easiest thing in the world, literally. You're going to kick yourself when I tell you guys how people get 50,000 points, how I am part of the people that always get 50,000 points and I revealed my secret conveniently this year. This is what you do. When you've done the stepping, don't even count that. That's for like lazy days. If you go on a holiday and you have your watch on, that's, the, that's when you, the stepper helps. But that doesn't count. It's the workouts, but you can only work out so much, okay? There's only so many weeks in a year that you can get points and it doesn't, total 50,000. So you're gonna fall short somewhere. And not everyone exercises every single week of the year. People get sick, you get tired, your body tells you to stop. It's actually unhealthy, so don't do that. So this is what we do. There are 52 weeks in a year. You can get between 1,500 and 2,100 points in a week maximum, 2,100 maximum. If you work out every single day and hit those targets, and you keep your heart rate above 80 for either your 30 minute exercise or your one hour exercise, you get 300 points. You exercise, you exercise five times in a week, you get 1,500 points. You exercise seven days in a week, you get 2,100, Bob's your uncle, cool. You can see very easily how in 10 weeks, you've got your 21,000 points. So that one is very, very doable, or whatever the deficit is of 50,000 minus 21,500, I don't know the math, but you can actually see how it's doable, right? And if we have a 52 week year, you can see how you don't need to exercise every day because there's a special, special caveat that I'm gonna get into. Cool. So getting 20,000 points, what I'm trying to articulate is it's very easy. You don't even need to try. You can work out for three months and you've got it. Like it's really not that difficult, right? So don't stress about the exercising. You don't always have to be in the gym. Just be in the gym.
okay? The three top things I'm gonna talk to you are gonna help you get to that 21,500. Actually, 21,500 is just one of the components. You can actually get more points than 21,500. The first component is do your vitality fitness assessments. There is a physical exam and then you have a virtual exam. If you're in corporate, you'll remember that your, in your medical aid company used to bring Vitality and the agents to your workplace to do these assessments. Those got you points. But now that we work from home and all of that stuff, you need to go and get the activities done yourself. When they do those vitals, you get points allocated depending on how healthy Discovery Vitality deems you to be. And people are very um, intimidated by these checks, but it's really, it's anyone can pass these tests. I was super unfit when I went and I did it, and I passed with flying colors, guys. They make you do a push-up here and there, and they check your form. So your form is essentially what makes you lose or gain points. BMI is also very important. Go when you haven't eaten so that your BMI can be at the most optimal level. And um, just check your BMI beforehand. If you are out of the range, do not get your test because it will adversely impact your points. Make sure that you go when your BMI is within the range of your age and your weight and your height and all of that stuff. Then you'll get a lot of points for BMI because BMI drops points, cholesterol drops points. Um, when you're there, I highly recommend that you opt in for an HIV test that gives you a thousand points and um yeah so they make you do like really like silly tests like you do a push-up you stand on a step and you have to go down with one leg and down with another leg and your hip can't drop they test your flexibility like can you hold your finger do your fingers touch on your back and then if they touch you get points and then they make you cycle or you run on a treadmill and they do the heart rate check the one piece of advice i can give you guys is don't stop pedaling okay even if you reach a max heart rate, keep going. I stopped when I reached a max heart rate because I guess I didn't hear that lady's instructions, but I would have kept pedaling and then you get more points for the, for, for the duration that you can cycle at your max heart rate, if that makes sense. That's literally all the test is. Um, yeah, they do other, other things, but I think the most daunting ones are the push-up. You have to do three push-ups, the stepping. Oh, you need to do a squat on a wall and your bum can't leave the wall so they're testing flexibility they test that fitness when you cycle and it's really not that deep i cycled with my mask on even not that deep take your mask off <laughs> i don't know why i did it with my mask on anyway so that's basically what the, the fitness assessment test is and you get a maximum of 21,500 points just for doing that guys there is a co-payment of around 400 rand which you will claim from your medical aid and then they reimburse you but that's literally it um, from that test. Other places that you can get points are if you're a Roman, you can get a pap smear. You get um, points as well for a dental checkup. You just need to make sure that your dentist uses the codes that Vitality recognizes as a dental checkup. And the points are rewarded very quickly, like within a week they reflect. So if you're sitting, biting your nails, thinking, flip, I'm gonna lose my state, so I'm gonna lose my tier status this year, I'm here to help you and tell you, no, you're not. You're not, guys. Just do the test, go to discovery, or do a physical test. Do a virtual test, because the virtual test also helps you get points. With the virtual test, they talk to you about your stress levels, they talk to you about how many fruits and vegetables you eat, they talk to you about how much you drink, how much sleep you get, and then you get points, literally. And you just go on the website and you tell them, call me back at this time, and they call you, your points are in. So yeah, so do those tests, there's still time. If you're not in diamond and you're not trying to maintain diamond, you'll get gold very easily. And then it's a matter of maintaining gold and doing these things. Do the test sooner rather than later. And also remember guys, the vitality fitness test, you can only do it once in a 12 month cycle. So if you do it again before 12 months is over, you're not gonna get points if I'm not mistaken. So just be careful and cautious about timing it and when you do it. Make sure you're fit at that time when you're gonna do that test because you stand to lose a lot of points if you aren't fit according to what Discovery deems fitness as, which sucks and I hate it, but 
it helps you to live that diamond lifestyle. And for those of us who aren't getting the 50,000 girlfriend allowance, this diamond lifestyle really sets you up quite well. So highly recommend, <laughs> highly recommend that you get onto the diamond lifestyle girl. I'm so sorry that it took two years, okay? It's done now, it's here, it's here, it's uploaded, you're watching it, you're welcome. But thank you also for the encouragement because I realized not a lot of people know this information and I thought they would. But also, there are a lot of points that you can get. You can get points for eating healthy, you can get points for running marathons and all of that stuff. I'm just telling you guys the, how I do it and mine is a part of least resistance, I think. Um, the easiest, most surefire way of getting those points and maintaining your status. So if you have any other ways and you want to give people tips as well in the comment section, let them know, you know, I'm sure they'll, they'll really benefit from the advice that you have. But yeah, I think for now I've covered everything. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And thank you so much for your patience, for your nagging, for your encouragement. I really appreciate it. And this is why we're here now. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, ciao for now.